Hey everyone, it's me, and uh, today is January 23rd, 2009, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of my taskbar here. And for those of you that don't know, exactly two weeks ago, or 14 days ago, the public beta of Windows 7, uh, beta 7000, or beta 1, was publicly released. Now, uh, it took me a while, but I finally gotten it on my system. Uh, I had to order a one terabyte drive and stuff. Uh, so I can install it, but I did. I did all that just to just to see how this is, how Windows 7 is. And I have to tell you, it is pretty amazing. So this is just a this is just going to be a quick video on the major highlights of Windows 7. Just the 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 main features you can see on the spot. And I'm still delving into the uh, the major uh, things that are really improved or changed in Windows 7. And I'll be making more in depth videos on those aspects later. So let's get started. The biggest uh, thing that you will see instantly is the fact that there's a completely new taskbar. Now on the right hand side there is still um, the standard clock. If you click on it you get the standard Vista clock. Um, you, you know all your standard um, icons here you know for your volume, my you know my go my uh, Gmail or my uh, my Google Talk as well as Live Mesh you know devices, power, all that kind of stuff. It's all there as usual. Um, what's also going on here is on the bottom right hand corner you can see there's a little thing that says show desktop now if I have a new t uh, a, a browser for example open here if I hope if I hover over the show desktop uh, my Firefox window or basically every single window will not quite minimize but basically go become transparent for example if I do this you can see once I hover over uh, you can uh, you can see this uh, almost this is silhouette or um, almost like a glass pane where the actual browser or the actual window should be. Now uh, that's basically a way for you to quickly peek at your uh, at your gadgets here. That same thing can also be activated by pressing Windows Space, which previously was the way you um, the way you showed uh, uh, all your gadgets in Vista. So uh, let's start moving over here. We have my uh, my tablet um, input here. Now uh, this is a little different, but I'll get into this into a different video here. So let's put that back over there. Uh, I also have my Encarta toolbar. The Encarta toolbar uh, is part of the Encarta uh, 2007 and onward suite. Not going to go into that right now. Now let's cover. Let's come over to this left side here. As you can see, there are multiple icons pinned or docked onto the taskbar. Now, at first it might seem like a simple. Uh, quick launch kind of thing, but it, in fact it isn't. This is a, a new way of organizing Windows that Windows 7 introduces. So if I open a new Firefox window here, um, you'll see that there isn't a new rectangular icon that shows that, you know, Mozilla Firefox start page, Mozilla Firefox. Instead, it when I minimize it, it goes back down into this quick launch icon. And when I hover over it, you can see that I get this preview, uh, just like in Vista, a thumbnail, of the actual thing. And once I hover over it, as you can see, the actual browser itself, the actual window itself comes up. Now if I if I go if I uh take take my cursor off of it, it'll go back away. This is a great way to um to compare documents as well as to just preview documents uh, as and, and preview different windows. For example, if I had multiple of these, let me open up a, f a couple more of these. If I hover over this here, I can go through every one of mine, uh every one of my browsers here. You know, uh, just to, just to navigate. It, 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 it makes navigating a little more fun, a little easier, and overall, it, it adds a really nice experience to Windows 7. Now, another cool thing about the new, these new icons are the jump lists. So, if you if I right click on any one of these uh, icons, you can see all of these. Um, you can see all of my recent documents. For example, uh, Firefox it doesn't work yet, but if I opened up Internet Explorer, it would show me. Uh, my history, and that way, uh, my history as well as my most uh, most commonly, most frequently visited sites. That way, I could simply right click and open that uh, that specific uh, web website up instead of having to open up a new browser and then having to um, and then having to actually uh, you know go to that URL. Um, the same thing applies to Microsoft Word here. If I right click here, you see you can see I have all these documents that I've been working on. Uh, for example, my current event and signing statement. Uh, it's right here. If I just click on it, boom, there you go. Now uh, Office will open up right into my uh, my actual document there without ha me having to open it up and then browse for the file. It's all there, which is really nice. 
Now, the very last thing is as I move over to the left here, you can see that the, the standard Vista Windows orb, when I hover over it, it glows. Now, this is a thing I really wanted in Vista from the beginning, and I'm really happy that they added this because, well, to tell you the truth, it, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Now, if I hover over it, or if I just click it in general, you can see all my latest uh, documents, which is, you know, as usual. However, there's a new thing. Basically, what happens is that uh, programs can basically put, you know, recent things or, uh, or you know, some kind of task uh, onto this right side. So basically, whatever was on here before, for example, computer or, you know, control panel, it'll go away, and all these, um, and all these new tasks uh, related to the, um, the selected... Uh, program will appear. So uh, that's that's something that I really like. That's pretty cool. So um, yeah, guys. So that's my uh, my video uh, quick overview of Windows 7 Beta 7000. I'll be making a few more videos, maybe even tonight, and posting them. So uh, check them out. Uh, and and I encourage you to download Windows 7, try it out for yourself, and uh, you know go to send feedback here and tell Microsoft what you want because they've obviously started to listen to what people want and making awesome products like the Zune and Windows 7. So that's it. I'm Ved and uh, I'm signing out.